This brief presentation was born out of my curiosity to know the meaning of the word Narumugai when I heard it for the first time. Looking at the Tamil literature, I was amazed by the enormous number of terms used to describe various facets of nature, including the number of developmental stages described for a flower. This I found to be very unique to the Tamil language. There are seven stages which are described in the development of a flower. Although the texts range from Sangam period literature to the current, the flowers described are not necessarily those that are seen in this presentation, most of which are from my photos of the Jaji Manni on my terrace. The first one is Arumb even before the bud. Kalai Arumbi Pagalalam Podu Agi Malay Malarum in Noi Setri River in Trikural comparing the development of the flower to the development of love in a maiden's heart. Then comes the Mukt. Mayuladi Yulaya Makkural Nochi Manai Nadu Mavvalod Uvumugai Avulakkar Edir Tandral Kalai The expectancy created by the bud to turn into the flower is compared to the expectancy of the heroine waiting for her lover in Naprime. And then the most intriguing of all, Mugai. Mugai Mokkul Ulla the Natram Pole Beda in Nigai Mokkul Ulla the Rundi again from Tirkural. Tirkural beautifully describes and compares the fragrance which is concealed in the bud to the secret concealed in the budding smile of the dear damsel who is in love. And of course, we know from our own contemporary poet, Narumugaye, Narumugaye, Niyoru Navige Nillai, Shengani Uri Vai Thirand, Niyoru Thirumavi Shallai. Then comes the full flower. Even here, it is not in a single stage. Kolai Vandu Padu Pudu Malar Tan Shigar Kalava Pijinum Pijadayinum In Puranamur, Kapilar sings about the king called Velpari describing how generous he is. And then finally the full blown flower which is also called Alar. Alar Poon Tumbay Ambakattu Mabbin Irindu Nidu Tadakkai Ennai Ilok Irindu Oum Danaval Pagay Once again in Puranamuru which mainly deals with exploits of kings Avaya talks about the son of Adhyaman as he embarks on his campaign As all good things must come to an end, the flower also has to come to the end of its life. So the fading withering flower, also known as V. Sir V Nyayal Ten Toy Old Inner Nere Yoy Madalir Vad Manal Yoyta 
in this small beautiful community in long stretches of sand honey filled bright clusters of tiny nyaral flowers drop delicately on the breasts of sand dolls made by young girls in natinai as described by ulochanar and finally this withered flower falls on the floor and now it's called chemmal udirpu chemmalin udunginar kaivor mudirtem palam pagai muttinum muttun in a famous verse from silapadikaram the lady talks to kovalan saying how if the heroine walks on the ground trying to avoid these flowers she will get hit by the fruits from the trees overhead so we have arumbu mottu mugai malar alar ve and chemal and this is across all flowers if only we care to look even in a desert rose you can see the various stages the arumbu getting into mottu into mugai and about the bud and having blossomed beginning to fade and then fallen and there are others too ineruthai nara malaranayer katrudu unarguri thurayadar தாம் கற்று நூறு பொருளை பிறர் உணருமாறு உரித்து வைக்க முடியாதவர் கொத்தாக மலர்ந்திருந்த போதிலும் மனம் தமிழாக மலரை போன்றவர் சேஸ் திருவள்ளுவர் அகைன் தோஸ் ஹூ ஆர் அனேபிள் டு செட் ஃபோர்த் வாட் எவர் தே ஹவ் அக்வாயர் ஈஸிலி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டபிள் பை அதர்ஸ் ஆர் லைக் பிளவர்ஸ் பிளாசிங் இன் அ கிளஸ்டர் அண்ட் எட் வித் அவுட் ஃப்ரேக்ரன்ஸ் விச் பிரிங்ஸ் மீ டு ரீசன் ஃபார் திஸ் தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் லிசனிங் வணக்கம் நன்றி